Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram, where I also talk about perfume, but it's slightly different content, very fun. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video or post to my community tab. This is a topic that I posted on my community tab. I post polls from time to time, and I posted a poll of various fragrances that I could review, and I'm gonna be talking today about the top vote getters. So I also had Justin Bieber, The Key in the Mix, which is a great perfume, but I will refer you to my TikTok for information on Justin Bieber, The Key. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Armani's Ocean de Joya and Aqua de Parma's Arancia de Capri and Bath and Body Work Cherry Limeade. So in my recent community tab poll, I polled about which summer fragrances you would like to see a review from me about. And one of the top vote getters of the choices I put out there was Ocean de Joya by Giorgio Armani. And so this is part of the Aqua de Joya line. And I have all the fragrances from that line. I'll put my video up in the cards where I talk about all my Aqua de Joya fragrances. So Ocean de Joya, in my Aqua de Joya collection video, I shared that this one is probably among my least favorite of my collection. Light de Joya at that time was my least favorite and this was kind of a close second ahead of Light de Joya. And Light de Joya is the yellow one and that one is just a very sweet white floral. So it was just a little bit cloying to me, but this one I do like better than Light de Joya, but I still don't love it. It's nice, I like it, but it's a very, it's very much a citrus fragrance. And I like citrus fragrances, but they notoriously have poor longevity. And this one is no exception, unfortunately. I did not get good longevity from this one, only maybe two to three hours. And I did moisturize and I used a body spray. So um, this really should have had better longevity, but citruses just don't seem to last. So it's really pretty. It's a very nice citrus. Even though it's called Ocean de Joya, I definitely get more citrus than I do ocean vibes. If you want ocean vibes, I would recommend Air de Joya. That's really the very beachy, salty, um, ocean air fragrance from this line. But this one is good. This one is nice, but it's just not very groundbreaking or um, this one isn't a go-to in my large collection of perfumes. It's nice, but it's not something that I'm typically gonna choose over some of the other ones that I like more. But like I said, it is a nice citrus fragrance. And if you can find a good deal on this, I would say go ahead and pick it up. If you like a good citrus that doesn't have great longevity, um, this is pretty nice, but it's just nothing very earth shattering or unique or special in my opinion. My favorites from the Aqua de Joya line are the original Aqua de Joya. And I love Air de Joya, the salty sea air one that I was talking about and then Sun de Joya, which is unfortunately hard to find, discontinued. Um, so those are my three favorites. This one and Sky de Joya are kind of in the middle. I like Sky a little bit better than this one. Sky is very much peony, it's a floral. Um, and then this one is the citrus and then light, like I said, is a sweet white floral. So it's a good line and it's got good variety and they're solid fragrances. But this one is just, like I said, nice, but nothing super special or unique in my opinion. So if you have tried this, I would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments. I would also love to know, do you know of a citrus fragrance that has good longevity? Because I would love to hear about that. That has been a subscriber question that I really haven't been able to answer because I really am not aware of a really good citrus fragrance that has good longevity. So if you know of any, please let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. So those are my thoughts on Ocean de Joyo from Armani. So this is Aqua de Parma Arancia de Capri, and this is a very pretty citrus fragrance. I really like it. As it compares to Ocean de Joya, I think this one is less sweet, it's a little more tart. It's a beautiful citrus. However, the longevity is really bad for me anyway. People do get different results with longevity, but I got pretty poor longevity for Ocean de Joya only a couple hours, but this one I probably only got an hour. So it was really gone. It was gone in a big old hurry, but I really do like the fragrance. I wish it lasted. I know my husband loves these little blue Aqua de Parmas. We got a set of three. I got a really good deal on Fragrance Net quite a while ago on this little set and he loves these. So, I, and I really do like it. It's a really nice perfume, but it just doesn't last. So again, if you know of something that does last, that's a citrus, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. 
This is from the Blue Mediterraneo line and it's a good line, but like I said, I don't get good longevity. I would love to hear if you get different results. I hope other people get better longevity than I'm getting, but unfortunately, like I said, I just didn't get it here. So I can't really recommend it because of that. So I also put Cherry Limeade from Bath & Body Works in the poll, and this is a really fun fragrance. This has juicy red cherries, candied lime, and sparkling citrus soda. So it's a really fun fragrance. It's very fruity. I've heard it compared to Sonic's Cherry Limeade because they have some kind of drink. So it does, it does smell like Cherry Limeade. Being it's a body mist, it doesn't last super long either. I got a couple hours with the lotion and the body mist. So, but these could be really nice layering. I actually was watching a video from Amber Chantel. I'll put Amber's video down below for you to check out because she did have some layering ideas for these. And I, I'm gonna try her layering ideas because I think these could really be fun layered with other perfume. But it's a really fun fragrance, not very serious, very summery, very refreshing and nice. What's your favorite summer fragrance? I would love to hear that down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.